Hiya, we're down at Linear Fisheries today. We're actually on Brazenose 1. We've got the first hot weather of the year, so it's the perfect time to get your zigs out. So I'm just gonna run through my top five tips. So tip one is commit. What I mean by that is don't just cast one rod out there on a zig and think you've tried it. You're better off using two rods or three rods, however many you've got, all, put them all out on zigs, all at different depths, all at different colours, and you're going to find where those fish are a lot quicker. So that is my first tip. There we go. There's a lovely 28 pound mirror. Been here a couple of hours. Seen a lot of fish activity, so we've chucked three zigs out at different depths. We actually managed to get a bite on a 12 foot zig. So what I'm going to do now is bring all the other rods in, put them all back out on 12 foot zigs and see if we can get another bite. The second tip is about chopping and changing. This includes both the depth, but also the color of the zig you're using. One day you might be catching on black, the next day you just can't get a bite on that. But for some reason, a yellow or a, or a red zig might work. So generally, I would always start at least one of the rods on black because black sort of imitates the natural things that might be found in the lake, the bugs that are hatching. So always start one on black, but you know, try the other rods on other colours or even you know, tip off a bit of black foam with a colour, a white, a yellow or a red, and I'm sure you'll keep the bites coming that way. Well, there we go, 35 pounds, six ounces. So after that last fish, I mentioned I was gonna put all three rods out at 12 foot, and sure enough, it's gone again. What I did do was put three different colored baits on the zigs, because although I'd found the depth that was working, I still didn't know what color. But this again came on just a black zig, so from now on, I'll be using 12 foot with all black on all the rods, and that's the net tactic decided for the next few hours. Let's get it back and get another one. So tip three is add flavors. When people think about zig fishing, it's quite a strange concept to think that you have a tiny bit of foam floating somewhere out there in the middle of the lake. And quite rightly, you know, the idea that a fish is gonna swim across that can sound quite daunting. So, you know, there are ways you can try and improve your chances of getting a bite. And one way of doing that is adding flavors. So, you know, you can have foam soaking in a pot of betalin or, or, or any of your chosen flavor, or simply dip the hook bait into a pot before you cast out, and it will just help those fish hone in on that hook bait a little bit quicker. Tip four is pre-tying. So pre-tying the zigs is really important. One of the main reasons that people don't try zigs is because it takes quite a lot of effort to actually get that sorted, tie the rigs and get it out in the lake. So if you've pre-tied them, you don't really have any excuse and you're more likely to try it and more likely to get a fish on the bank. So when you're pre-tying them, the other tip I would give you is tie them too long. So tie them 15, 16 foot or what, however deep the deepest part of the lake you're fishing is because you can always easily cut that down to the right depth you want but if you tie them all at six foot and you find you need a 10 foot zig you're going to have to start from scratch again so tie them long cut them down is my other tip so tip five and that is using the line clip on the reel when you're actually casting out the line clip is absolutely essential when zig fishing you need to hit the line clip to straighten out the hook link and kick that hook bait away from the lead. You imagine you're using up to a 12, 13 foot hook link, the potential for tangles is high. So you need to minimize that by hitting the line clip and ensuring the hook link straightens out and stays away from that lead. It sounds crazy, but even when you're fishing like 120 yards like I'm today, you can actually see two separate splashes when it lands that tells me that's perfect. If I don't see those two splashes, I'll wind in and I'll redo that again. 
So yeah, those are my top five tips. So hopefully if you apply that to your own fishing, it will help you get a few more fish on the bank. So there we are. After a couple of hours of chopping and changing with the zigs, the depths and the colours, we've managed to bite. As soon as I've got the fish in, I've unhooked it, I've wound the others in, changed to the same depth, chucked them all back out, and I've had four takes almost instantly. It just goes to show when zigs really work, there's nothing that can compete with them.